an early morning outside at about 6 a.m. after I have nursed my newborn is definitely something that has become routine for me and it's something I truly enjoy though just being outside before I get the breakfast and coffee going as you can see when I come in and get the day going in the kitchen the rush begins with making coffee, making sure my littlest is being comforted and my other one is getting some attention as well. But life just continues and it is the second week with my newborn and it's definitely a change for me but I think it's going to be a good adjustment. Nevaeh's definitely had to learn how to be a big sister as well and I know many of you who are parents of more than one understand this too but she is such a good helper and always loves to be around when I'm doing things like with dishes loading the dishwasher and cleaning up and so it's nice to have a two-year-old who I can have try to assist with little tasks around the home. She's starting to wake up and getting hungry. It's morning feeding, about eight o'clock. She is a pacifier girl, Nevea never was. <laughs> so time to go eat. Six little ducks that I once knew. Fat ones, skinny ones, fair ones too. But the one little duck with a feather on his back, quack, he leads the others with a quack, quack, quack. Yeah, that's supposed to be water, yeah. So well, what many people have been very gracious and bought us some really cute clothes for Nadia and I'm just gonna cut off the tags but some wonderful church people have been bringing us food this week and little gifts for Nadia and even for Nevaeh too just as a big sister so some of these are so adorable. I just love these little outfits and I really don't have a lot of new for Nadia as of course hand-me-downs from my sister and then Nevea. This one is so cute in a little headband. So it'll be fun to dress her in some of these Whoa. little outfits soon. Some of these ones are just so adorable in that texture. Here's a really cute summer one too with a little headband. So adorable. We're headed out for a walk out to my husband's warehouse, with warehouse which is like 0.6 miles out and 0.6 miles back, so 1.2 miles um, before it gets too hot. It was over 100 yesterday and it's supposed to be in the mid 90s today. So it's just been so hot, we try to do most of our outdoor stuff in the morning. So I got some laundry in the wash. That's one tip I always have for everybody is just keep the laundry going, especially the more kids you have. And we are back from our walk out to my husband's warehouse. He has a mulberry tree too, so we got to pick some mulberries. I'm gonna make either some mulberry jam or uh, mulberry 
berry mixture crisp or pie or something like that maybe today or tomorrow and it'll be feeding time almost again too so i'm trying to get used to that routine of feeding every two and a half three hours with the newborn which has been pretty good she's a pretty solid eater and i don't lack in producing so that's also super helpful but i think we're just going to hang out inside for a little while because it's already 85 degrees out at about 10 45 in the morning so a little bit warm today again so we'll be out maybe in the pool later today after nap time with it being so hot out this summer in june we have been having to water a lot more often and what better way than to use up some of the pool water than to water some of my garden area and i do this while my two kiddos are napping i'm constantly going in and checking on them have the monitor out it's just also a good way for me to enjoy the outdoors and it really um, helps my mood too i just love being outside and i think something for postpartum mamas is to get fresh air on a regular basis to do something you enjoy and gardening for me is an absolute joy and love even hoeing the gardens is something I really find enjoyable and it's a good accomplishment to me to see the weeds going away and so um, I don't try to have super high expectations being only two weeks postpartum but it is nice to have a list of some things I want to get done and hoeing a couple areas of my gardens was one thing I wanted to do in that afternoon nap time. So this afternoon has been kind of one of those days after nap time where this one wants to cluster feed. Um, so it's been a little challenging to do a whole lot. So not too much filming happening. With the help of my little assistant, we made some strawberry rhubarb muffins and I will definitely link that recipe that I followed in the description box. It was so delicious. I ran in to throw the muffins in and this is so precious. She's watering my flowers for me. Muffins are out and they look delicious. They're a little crispy on top. Be great with like a lemon powdered sugar glaze. That'd be so good. Or a maple syrup, cream cheese glaze. All right, for supper tonight, we are just doing leftovers that a uh, family from our church brought for us this week after having the baby we had a lot of several i should say meals brought to us so like some home raised beef roast beef and beans some gravy i roasted some cauliflower and then mashed potatoes so that is what we're having today can you use your fork nevea mm -hmm. okay just making a sweet ice cream treat banana chocolate peanut butter ice cream it is a little more like a smoothie, but it is such a nice treat on a hot summer day. Well, I'm gonna call it a night here. We finished up supper, had some banana ice cream, and I'm having some more with some date lady syrup on it, actually, and some chocolate chunks. And my husband put together the baby swing for Anna Nadia to have in the house. And we're just probably going to relax a little bit before bedtime. It's 9 o'clock, so bedtime is coming very soon. And I'll have to feed another time. So it's been a full day, lots of feeding times. Like I said, I have to get used to that. And it's, yeah, it's just been a good full day. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this day with a toddler and a newborn. Mm -hmm.